I'm James. And I'm Emily. We show you our actual weight loss journey, not just pictures of past performance. And our goal is to help you and ourselves lose weight and keep it off using the keto lifestyle. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get ready. Set keto. So here we go. We are doing our first what we eat during the week. Yep. And real quick, we went to Whole Foods today for the first time. Ever. Yeah, it's Sunday. We went just out to Whole Foods. Never been there. Thought we'd check it out. And it was a little different. Um, wasn't bad. I'll definitely go back again. Mm -hmm. And if you hear the dogs eating behind me, that's because they didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. What we eat in a week, we're definitely going to do this for probably like three days. Mm -hmm. And then before we upload the video. Right. So you're going to see a few days of what we eat. So let's get started. So as you can see right here, this is kind of maybe a little bit boring but me and yeah this is the normal me and emily each have i just got done cooking each have well okay we got four things of ground beef cooked each weighing eight ounces each so that will be two days for our lunch for each of us and then for tomorrow night i have seasoned pork chops with some Cajun seasoning and a little bit of garlic powder and that way it, everything will be simple and prepped for Monday night we'll just throw these in the oven low and slow low and slow when I get home from work that way when Emily gets home we'll have pork chops for dinner and probably I'm guessing Brussels sprouts because that seems to be our go-to seems like everybody likes that yes. so I'm only taking ground beef Emily will be taking two of these cage-free plus hard boiled eggs for her lunch tomorrow. I buy them already hard boiled because yeah, they're she, easier. She don't like the shells. So basically tomorrow I'm eating ground beef and Emily is going to eat eight ounces of ground beef. I'm eating eight ounces of ground beef and she will have two hard boiled eggs with it. And then tomorrow night's dinner, that's coming up. You'll see that when it comes out of the oven. Yep. All right. It's Monday, Monday night. And this is what we're having. Pork chop with Cajun seasoning that you've seen me prep that. Yes. Uh, Brussels sprouts cooked in butter. And Emily sauteed made mushrooms. sauteed mushrooms with butter and garlic. Butter and garlic. So that is, is dinner. dinner Monday night now if I only have one pork chop I only have one probably will have two <laughs> and my lunch for tomorrow half pound of ground beef so I fasted today unintentional fast it wasn't unintentional so what happened was after we turned the camera off last night Emily's like well, I can't let everyone know that I, yeah, I'm no. eating the same as you and two eggs. No. No. My job can be extremely busy where I cannot get up and I don't get a lunch break. So I never made it back to the refrigerator to get my lunch today. So I have not eaten yet today. So tomorrow she's going to oh. eat half pound of ground beef and four no. hard boiled <laughs> eggs. No. So, right. I have options. I have hard-boiled eggs that work, and I have a half a pound of ground beef. And when I get to work, also, I add butter, a about a half a tablespoon of I butter. I add butter to mine, too, before I leave. I, I did put butter yeah. in mine this morning. I, uh, I salt it, and I put about a half a tablespoon of butter and melt it with my ground beef. Which brings me to our next topic. So, starting Sunday, which is the, oh. the 29th. Okay. Of December, okay, of January, of January, starting Sunday, it's the perfect time. We're doing 30 days, beef, butter, and egg. Bacon and egg. You know, it's not going to be that difficult for me because every day I bring hard-boiled eggs and every day I end up bringing steak or beef or roast beef. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, 30-day <laughs> challenge. We're doing it again for a second time. We did it a few months ago. We just only did for it, a week. We just did it for a week. 
This time we're going 30 days and it's going to be amazing. And I'm 249 now. I might be 205 at the end of that. We'll see. <laughs> and, and Wishful thinking. Well, yeah. Well, I plan on going down to about 190 before I put on 20 pounds of lean muscle. Right. So okay. If you want to do beef, butter, bacon, and eggs with us, I know it's the thing. Everybody's doing it. Right. But if you missed out on January challenge that other YouTubers are doing... We're going to do February. We're doing starting the 29th. Right, to give us that full 30. All the way through February. So don't feel left out. Start with us. Let us know if you t intend on doing it. Noah, uh -oh. tell them good night. Good night. So we'll be seeing, well, do the magic of video. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep, you'll see Tuesday right now. It is Tuesday, and I said it before him. That's fine. I was going to let her talk. <laughs> so, today's Tuesday. I unintentionally fasted again today. So, I did not have lunch, but I'm going to show you what we are having for dinner. She did not have lunch because she is ill and left work early to go because she has an ear infection. Yes, I woke up. My ear was hurting. It's been bothering me a few days. And woke up with my ear hurting really bad, so I left work early, went to the doctor, and got some medications to help that. All right, so we, for dinner, are having, so this is actually a hamburger patty yes. that is square. And the hamburger patty has Swiss cheese on it, and green beans, mushrooms, and gravy. Now, the gravy, anyway, if you sit and figure this up, the gravy, this is about six to eight total carbs, total carbs. For the meal. For itself. the meal, yeah. So I had uh, eight ounces of ground beef again for lunch. And then I came home and I actually didn't film this, but I made a pound of bacon and me and Emily and oh, Noah. Yep, I did have bacon when I got home because me, I was hungry. <laughs> me, Emily, and Noah snacked on bacon. Yeah. So basically... I'm going to have about, we'll just call it eight carbs between the green beans, the gravy, the beef gravy, and the cheese and the hamburger. So this right. is an eight carb meal, mm -hmm. which might sound high to some people who are trying to stay under 10. But remember, I haven't had any carbs at all right. today. So eight mm -hmm. total carbs. Me neither. Emily hasn't. So we're going to end the day at eight total carbs. Right. And... That's what Emily and Noah and myself are having for dinner. Mm -hmm. For lunch tomorrow, I'm make this Wednesday. real easy that tomorrow for lunch, I'm going to have eight ounces of cooked ground beef. Yeah, so this was our meal prep for um, Sunday. Still eating Still it. having. So, so Wednesday will be day number three of ground Eve beef. For you. Now, Thursday, we'll I'm going to I'm, change it up. I'm going to change it up because mm -hmm. we still got pork chops. Yes. Because I only had one pork chop last night. So last night I had a pork chop mm -hmm. and Brussels sprouts and mushrooms. Yep. It was good. It was really good. So I was looking at about five total carbs that I had yesterday. Mm -hmm. So not too bad. But anyway, and don't forget, I don't eat breakfast. So I have two meals a day. And sometimes a snack such as bacon or a piece green of roast. Green olives and yeah. cheese. Green olives, a piece of cheese, or maybe a couple pork rinds, something like that. So that is Tuesday night's dinner mm -hmm. and Wednesday night's or Wednesday, Wednesday day's lunch. So yeah. Emily still has her hard boiled eggs at work. And with my ground beef. Her ground beef that's probably starting to get old. So I need to try to eat that tomorrow. Yeah, I say if you don't eat it tomorrow, it's a tosser. Yeah. So, anyway, that's Tuesday night. Thank you guys, and yeah. see you in just a second. All right, guys, real quick. I just wanted to show you how I made the ground beef for the, the ground beef that we're eating right now. It is, I actually put it on a cookie sheet, and... It was actually really easy. Put it in the oven at 400 for uh, any time, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. And uh, it cooked really good. And then we took it out and put cheese on it, 
put it back in just for a minute or two and cut it into squares which is kind of unique so as you can see real nice and thick it's delicious Emily says it is delicious and it, it is. is thanks guys happy Wednesday <laughs> Wednesday night. It is. Emily made unstuffed peppers. And there is a video right there. If you click that link, you'll see it. <laughs> so I added crushed red peppers on top. Um, I did add crushed red peppers. I've I seen this, it. but I'm feeling spicy. Okay. Anyway, want to know his favorites. Easy. We're going to be starting B, 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 and E soon. Sunday. Yeah, so we wanted to go ahead and use the rice cauliflower we had. Cleaning out all the stuff that's not... We're cleaning out all the vegetables and stuff that we have out of the freezer mm -hmm. to make room because we're going to do 30 days of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Yeah. And tomorrow for lunch, which is Thursday, mm -hmm. I'm starving tomorrow, so I'm taking three pork chops. I'm really, really hungry all day tomorrow. Are you going to eat them all? I don't know. But if, so, I don't, if I don't, I'll have it for Friday. I am bringing leftovers from last night, which are ground beef with Swiss cheese. So I'm going to eat that tomorrow. I'm not going to bring eggs with me. I brought, um, I still had eggs in the fridge at work and they smelled kind of funny and I threw them away today and so I'm I'm not wanting that. She did eat her ground beef, though, finally. I did. I didn't want it to go bad. Um, that was just ground beef and butter and salt. That's it. Today I had my ground beef and ate every bit of it. Yeah. It was good. But, it was good. So we'll get our carbs. I was telling him I'm estimating about 10 carbs per serving. Um, probably under that, but I'm going to round up. It has green peppers, onions, rice cauliflower. Ground beef. Ground beef. Um, seasonings. And I used two tablespoons of tomato paste in there. So there's a little bit of carbs in that and then the cauliflower. Noah, do you love it? Noah yeah. says it's really good. So anyway, that's it for Wednesday. Yep. Once again, I'm starving tomorrow. Three pork chops. Emily's taking ground beef with Swiss cheese for mm -hmm. lunch on Thursday. Yep. So, hope we're not boring you. That's what we're eating this week. We eat a lot of ground beef. Surprisingly, we haven't done a lot of bacon this week, though. We ate bacon yesterday. Yeah, one of my go-tos is bacon with um, avocado. I eat at least half of that pound. Yeah. So, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Emily's making chaffles because... We were slackers last night. And did not get anything out for dinner. So, she's making chaffles because we're having frozen hamburger patties that's in the oven cooking right now and with a chaffle bun. Yes. Should probably close that. <laughs> chaffle. What did you put in them? Uh -huh. I just did my eggs and cheese, a little bit of baking powder, and I added a little bit of bacon pieces we had, and pickles and mustard, salt and pepper. Pickles, mustard, cheese, eggs. Salt and pepper. Salt, pepper, a touch of baking powder. Yep. So that's going to be our bun for our burgers tonight. And... I didn't record it, but when I got home from the grocery, I was hungry, so I made a pound of bacon. Mm -hmm. We ate it. Yeah. Sorry. So, we have burgers in the oven right now. So, we went to the store last weekend and bought another mini waffle maker so that when we do have burgers or sandwiches or anything, we can make a complete bun set. So, they're really cheap. Why not? So we can make two at once. Happy Thursday. Yep. It's Thursday night.
Thursday night. Now, hang on, what are you doing? All right, so before we eat, so I made a pound of bacon when I came in. Yeah. You just seen Emily making chaffles. I ate half the pound of bacon. Cow. So it's <laughs> eight o'clock at night, and I'm just now ready to eat. Not a cow. I was I'm just kidding. Really hungry. Kidding. I, I said Kidding. yesterday that I was going to be really starving tomorrow, so I ate all three pork chops for my lunch. I know, but we're going to have all the bacon when we want in the next month. And I went out. I went to the store and I bought. They had the right. They had yeah. They had the right brand bacon. It was fifteen dollars for three pounds. We're going to try the, this. The hickory, the thick cut. That's what we okay. Bought. So, so last night I made the protein sparing bread because I really, really, really want to like it. But I just don't. Um, so I tried it a little bit different and used um, whole egg powder instead of egg white powder with the egg yolks. And it's just so eggy for me. And I love eggs, so it doesn't make sense. So anyway, we have bologna and cheese. We figured we'd toast it a little bit and try it with bologna and cheese to see if maybe we like it that way. And he's supposed to be trying it. Instead, he's eating his chaffle bun. I was just letting her bump her gums. Okay. Well, I'm going to try it. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So I tried just a little piece with just peanut butter on it. And with it seems to be with something other than just the bread. If you just taste the bread itself, it seems to be better with something. I could do this. I could do bologna and cheese. It has a little bit of mayo on it, too. No, um, I don't even taste the egg. No. It tastes like it's missing salt. Remember, you, remember I asked you if you wanted salt? You said I saw it. I meant the chaffle because I made the chaffles with salt, pepper, pickle, and mustard. Well, guess who salted the bunny? I this, could do this. This guy right here. Well, I'm glad she can do it because I miss bread. I don't miss bread that much. I do. I miss the convenience. I miss pizza. We made, I made the pizza crust out of the egg protein sparing bread. I made that. We made it together. Okay. We made it together. And she didn't care for it that much, but I loved it. Me and Noah ate it the next day. That was in his uh, birthday mm -hmm. way in Saturday. So... Anyway, this is our dinner tonight. It is a chaffle sandwich, hamburger chaffle. And yours looks like it's a mess. Cheese and tartar, and that's just how I like it. <laughs> All right, so this is Thursday. We are going to wrap this up, this little series here of what we mm -hmm. eat in a day. Uh, that gives you four solid days of kind of a look in at what we eat. Mm -hmm. So, chaffle burger. Today I had pork chops for lunch. What did you have for lunch? I had leftover burgers with Swiss cheese for lunch. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to do the bologna and cheese on the protein sparing bread. It's good. It is actually good. This is We got sandwiches back. The first time I've had... We have sandwiches with chaffles, which I love those. How is the chaffle, by the way, with the pickle? Pickle and bacon and mustard in it. Oh no, I didn't think about it because you were talking about the chops mm. last night. You good? I like it. Our son just came in. And steak. He bought steak. <laughs> Ribeye, six ninety nine a pound. Baby. Ooh, good deal. Ribeye, six ninety nine. Where at? Save a lot. Oh boy. No oh, boy. <laughs> so. Yes. Due to the popularity of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Not because we are dying to do it. Because We're not dying to do it. It's a challenge for a reason. It's and a there's going challenge. to be real struggles. Yeah. Real struggles. Yeah. Because. I'm going to have to drink my coffee black. That's going to be a struggle in itself. Because when you're on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, like, there's certain things that like, I don't even care about, like ham, but. At the end of the week, you want ham. I would have wanted ham mm -hmm. just because it's something different. As much as I love beef and butter and bacon, I'm really not that big of an egg fan. But you like chaffles. 
I love chaffles. And you like that little completely half. Completely different. And I like hard boiled eggs. I just, and deviled eggs. And deviled eggs. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I'll talk about this more Saturday, but I was just up in the attic. Mm -hmm. I hollered at Emily and Your I got to. Yeah, I got to burr up my butt, but I wanted to go up in the attic and... He always has a burr up his butt. Anyway, it's a win because when I started out at 314 pounds, I wasn't getting in that attic. Scared to death. Now that I'm 249, climbed right up in the attic and performed like an absolute man boss. After he asked me to stay out there with him. I asked, her, I asked her to stay out there because if I fall through the attic, I want someone to call the paramedic <laughs> as quick as possible. Mm-hmm. So, we have extra burger patties. I will be taking two burger patties for lunch tomorrow. Two quarter pound burger patties. No surprise, that'd be a half pound. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to do a bologna and cheese tomorrow. That's something I miss. And can, can I think you, I can do it with a protein spare and bread. Can you toast it at work? We do have a toaster at work. There you go. I think it's on toast. I'm just happy we got bread again. It's so easy to make. I just want to like it so much. It's very And this easy. weekend, I'm going to, not Sunday. Sunday, we're starting BBB and e Saturday, I'm going to try to make some French toast with it and see how that is. We'll see. So, also, let's just put this out. We're trying to get rid of some stuff that we have right. before BBB and e Right now, I got a very large ham. That's in our freezer outside. I think that's going to be a Saturday. We thing. need to thaw that thing out and we need to just tear it up Saturday and yeah. get rid of it. Sounds like ham and green beans in my future. So I'm hoping this BBB and E will propel me into my goal. Me too. Before spring because spring comes in March. And if we do this whole challenge through, <laughs> through February, mm -hmm. we're going to be starting March. I'll probably lose 100 pounds again. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have quite a few new subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. We really, really appreciate it. Hopefully. Yeah, we <laughs> we look forward to waking up and checking on our channel, and like it's really exciting to, to us, and it helps us. It's kind of our thing together, though. I mean, there's a lot of things that he's into that I'm not, and like football and and football and things that I'm into that he's not really into like shoes and boots I like shoes and boots <laughs> and art <laughs> but he's just not so this is kind of our thing where we can talk about something that we're both passionate about and we have been passionate about for how long now I'm going to talk with my mouth full one of the things that we had that caused us this problem to begin with was the love of food. We love food. <laughs> and when we first met, we used to make biscuits and gravy together. And that was I, our thing. I used to say she was the biscuits to my gravy because I would make the gravy and she made the biscuits. Mm. So, so if anybody go. knows a biscuit and gravy recipe that is keto friendly, that would be awesome. Maybe a gravy and shuffle. Something. Maybe that's something we need to figure out and make then. Well, I'm sure the, the I have a good feeling that the biscuits are kind of like egg. styrofoam. <laughs> I bet you the biscuits are eggs. <laughs> and the gravy would be some sort of a coconut flour or an almond oh. flour mix. No clue. Heavy cream? No. Maybe. That could be a good one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Please. <laughs> and I hope you like watching a look in at our week. It's just... Sorry we didn't go Friday, but if mm -hmm. I had did it Friday, we'd have been uploading Friday and then Saturday and then Sunday. We're, right. we, we plan on doing End a couple. End up being an hour long video. And... We plan on doing a couple videos for BBB and E. Like I said, it's pretty simple. We both work and most of our meals are pretty simple. Nothing bougie. So... You know, so I was thinking, so what I want to do is I don't want to videotape every single thing that we eat on BBB&E, mm -hmm. but I would like to get a marker board mm -hmm. 
or a tablet or something. And that way, when we do our, we you know, a couple of updates during the week, we can show what we had for dinner. And Boy, am I going to miss my coffee. Not going to like doing it live. Real quick, if you don't know the rules of BBB and E, it is you eat all the beef, butter, bacon, and eggs that you want. Right. You're not supposed to have any artificial sweeteners, mm -hmm. anything like that. Uh, pop's going to be hard for me to give I'm up my diet. trying to prepare myself. My diet coke, but we got plenty of Berkey water. Mm hmm and he's worse on the pop my basically gonna be my coffee basically you don't count any macros you're not worried about how much fat you're eating you're not worried about how many carbs you're eating this is a very strict form of carnivore right eat until you're pleasantly full eat. not yep. don't stuff yourself so we're gonna i'm gonna eat twice a day until i'm pleasantly full it will be beef butter bacon and eggs mm -hmm. and that is it and yeah. it's gonna be for 30 days <sighs> so you know what eh <sighs> We'll, maybe we'll explore. You know, I'm not looking forward to it. We've never made pork belly. Maybe we'll make pork yeah. belly and try it. There's got to be different things. Because of the BBB and E, we we're going to have steak. We've been having a lot more steaks. It better go on sale. That caused us to get the sous vide grill, the sous vide machine, I guess, not mm -hmm. the grill, but the whatever, the sous vide. And I'm sure we'll learn something else. Yeah, but I, I, I probably miss. My Brussels sprouts and cabbage and bell peppers. I like those. I like those veggies. But hopefully it's a kickstart. Hmm. So, Speaking hopefully. of that, we need to cancel the keto crate for this month. Yeah, well, I guess I so. I definitely don't want a keto crate coming. It'll probably come. He's been wanting to cancel it. Don't let <coughs> It'll him. probably come early. He's using this as an excuse. Then we'll have to sit and look at a keto crate throughout yeah. BBB and E. Yeah. And not be able to touch it. Because <laughs> there's never steak in it. There's pork rinds in there. Can you have pork rinds on BBB and E? Yes. But it's not beef or butter or bacon. I heard that you, can, you can have pork rinds on it. But as what if they're jalapeno? Is it long? No. Oh. You're not supposed to have the flavorings. Never mind. Just, yeah, if it's just basic, like pork rinds, yes. Fine. I'm just going by what I heard other people have. If you, don't, if you don't have any flavors, if it's just basically pork and salt, yes. I can have salt on my boiled, hard boiled eggs. We can have bacon on our bacon. Okay. Speaking of that, for Valentine's Day, you're going to have bacon roses. Oh, but I want it chalk zero. You know how expensive the bacon roses are? Have you looked them up? I thought I'd just roll them up and cook them. Well, if you order them, they're like a hundred bucks. For bacon roses? For a dozen of them? Can't we just make them? We can. All right, that's what we'll do. On Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Day. Bacon roses. <laughs> and a steak heart. All right. I can't just... She's just going to talk all Okay. All I'm right. ready to eat. Okay. Yes. Thanks all a lot. Right. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it. Have a great night.